what are you most looking forward to here at Convergence here in Paris this week? What, what's on the table? Well, I think I, I have a kind of selfish commercial message. Say, believe me, the World Bank is changing and changing for real. So we have reorganized ourselves, yeah. we have more money, and we want to mobilize I mean, our global practice, our knowledge, our money for the benefit of all. That's a very important message. We are here to partner with people. And I like the word convergence, mm. which does mean that, I mean, private sector, NGOs, civil society, coming together. And, and, and come together. I think it's a very strong message. And that's really what I want to hear, to tell people we can do things with you. And it's not just about fundraising. It's not just about begging for money. It's about making sure that one dollar coming from anywhere can be leveraged to make a big difference ultimately to get to five or six dollars. So you have to, in, in a sense, make the business case for, yes. for involvement yes. and for yes. development. And the, the good news with the World Bank Group, actually, is that we are a group. So it's yeah. not just the, the kind of so-called old traditional World mm -hmm. Bank model, which is still very relevant, which is dealing with government and public entities. Yes. But we're also working with the IFC, which is also, I mean, very little people know that IFC uh, have, has, for instance, a portfolio of equity yeah. of $15 billion is a shareholder in more than 100 banks. So we know the private sector, we know market. So if we team this together, we can make a big difference. And that's what we're going to do now, to make sure that we, we cross leverage our expertise with public and private sector to make this difference happen. And, and in terms of your discussions with your other banking partners um, and other development partners, yeah. I mean, what, what sort of alignments need to be made in terms of your methods of operation or um, or is it just a case of finding compromise and consensus? Well, I don't think it's about aligning. I, I think it's really about showing a spirit of cooperation. Mm. I do believe in cooperation. I mean, in the private sector, you don't see that people are aligned, mm. but they work together. So I do believe since we have the same objective, as I say, eradicating poverty is something that we share, we can work together. The, the, the mechanism I described by which we can spread the risk among institutions is a win-win proposition. It doesn't cost anything. It brings everybody uh, higher. That's a good. That's a good example. Regarding the role played by the World Bank, I, I just wondered how discussions around involvement in post 2015 were currently being affected by uh, Jim Kim's ongoing reforms at the bank. Yeah, I mean this is totally linked mm. uh, from from two perspectives. On the one end, we are restructuring the, the, the way we are operating as a bank uh, with global practice. So yeah. the global practice of education on air, on water, yeah. and this is totally articulated with the. I mean, we don't know yet what would be the sustainable development goal, but it's, it's very much correlated to that. So we will be ready to engage on each development goal with a global practice, bringing the best of global knowledge at the service of this objective. And in parallel, we have reformed the finance of the bank so that we can really, as I say, increase our firepower, having, I mean, being able to provide more dollars, but at the same time, engage with private sector uh, and various private stakeholders. So, I mean, in a certain extent, we are reforming ourselves to really align ourselves with yeah. this MDG.